right guys, what's up? This is Fudo Yusei again with another deck profile. Today we're presenting the man, Seto Kaiba. Get out of my face, Yusei. Nah, <laughs> anyways, um, this is a dragon or more of a blue eyes build for the Kaiba deck that we've been working on. Strictly anime, so um, none of that the, the, the dimension uh, movie. So, uh, this is just a blue eyes dragon type deck for his, for him. So, we'll be showcasing that for you today. Anyways, let's start it off. So, to start off the monsters, we have his ace, the three blue eyes white dragons. Oh man, there were four, but Kyber kind of ripped them. Anyways, yeah. So the three blue eyes, very self-explanatory. That's his ace. That's the card you're going to be spamming throughout the whole game. Next, we have Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Obviously, we run him because it's a Blue Eyes deck, so why not? So yeah, pretty good effect, pretty strong effect. Then we have Different Dimension Dragon. I like to use his anime effect, which is a lot better. So uh, anime effect is uh, he can be destroyed by cards that don't target. He first can be destroyed by battle, period. And he can be destroyed by card effects that don't target it. So it's a really good card and a good stall card for Kaiba too because he doesn't have much stall anyway. So really good stall card for him and it's also dragon so it's perfect. We have the Ritual Monster Paladin of White Dragons. Also really good card. Very very good to uh, bring out a Blue Eyes from hand or deck. Obviously that Blue Eyes can attack that turn but it's still pretty good. It kills monsters that are set face down. Doesn't allow them to flip so no flip effects for you. Uh, then we have Kaiba Man. Because Kaiba didn't have enough ego or pride, so he needed to add a card of himself. Anyways, moving on. We have Kaiser Seahorse, another just tribute fodder for Blue Eyes White Dragon. So like, Kaiba Man, Kaiser Seahorse, really good. You know, uh, these three cards in of itself makes it so that you can bring out Blue Eyes White Dragon a lot easier. Then we have two Luster Dragons, just generic 19 beaters. You know, it's Kaiba, it's a power deck, so we have to add those. Then we also have two uh, Spear Dragons as well. Um, also Pierce, and they're big beaters too. And so, yeah, and last but not least, well, not last but not least, but we also have Spirit Ryu, or Spirit Ryu. Anime effect is way better. Um, instead of it only being during your battle phase, it's whenever he battles during the damage step you just could discard as many dragons and he gains attack a thousand attack for each so that's really good you know uh your opponent won't really be trying to attack this card unless he has something to deal with his effect uh yeah so then we have twin headed behemoth just another um like tribute fodder for his deck we also have clone dragon so like if you summon one of your blue eyes this is or a blue eye, any big hitter, you can literally just special summon this guy and it becomes an exact copy of it. So, yeah, that's like amazing. Then we have Lord of Dragons, really good to protect your dragons from being targeted by card effects practically. And then we have the King of Dragons that came out in the Kaiba Legendary Collection. Fortunately, we don't have it, but we will. Really great card. One, he's already treated as Lord of Dragons, so anything that you use for Lord of Dragons, like Pluto summoning dragon you can also use it for this guy and then when he's normal summon he literally you discard any spell and trap card to add literally any flute any one flu summoning dragon uh the M melody of awakening dragon or dragon revival rhapsody rhapsody from your deck to your hand so like that's really good already so yeah so two good cards to like really kind of help you get those dragon stuff in your hand and last but not least we have more tribute fodder Pet in the Dark Clown, and it's also a good stall card as well. So that's it for the monsters. I'll explain some combos and the strengths and weaknesses of this deck and what I like most about it. So let's move on to the spells. We have the Burst Stream of Destruction or Horobi no Busto Stream for you know those who watch the, the sub. This literally wipes your opponents, um, all your opponents' monsters, but Blue Eyes can't attack that turn, but it's fine. He already attacked with that card. Uh, then we have Dragon Shrine, which is a good card that came out in the, the Duelist Pack, um, Rivals of the Pharaoh, the TCG Duelist Pack. 
a uh, very good card to like just set up your dragons in the graveyard, particularly blue eyes. We also have Silver's Cry, which came out in that pack as well. Just a, a Moss Reborn for Blue Eyes practically, just or any normal Moss, but you're most likely trying to bring out Blue Eyes. We also have the Spell Card, Dragon Revival Rhapsody, uh, which is a really good combo with uh, Dragon Shrine. So you send to Blue Eyes and then you just literally bring them right back out if you control uh, any Spellcaster. Particularly, the Spellcasters you have is a uh, Kaiba Man, um, Lord of Dragons, and King of Dragons. So yeah, so this guy, this card is really good, very aggressive, helps you do a lot of stuff. Next we have the Ritual Spell card for uh, Paladin of White Dragons, White Dragon Ritual, self-explanatory. Um, he doesn't necessarily need to be special summoned with the Ritual Spell card. You can special summon, the, the, the only way you can Ritual summon him is with that card, but you can special summon him any other way. Then instead of Polymerization, we have Dragon's Mirror. This also came out in the those pack uh, ri um, uh, rivals of the pharaoh so literally if you have all three blue eyes uh, either on the field and or in the graveyard so depending doesn't matter as long as there's they're either on the field and or graveyard you can literally just fusion summer for blue eyes ultimate so this is like an amazing card i like that card. i'd rather use it better for i'd rather use it than poly anyways we have card of the mize yeah this card came out in real life but it's like hella expensive uh, we usually use the anime effect anyways, you know, self-explanatory, draw five cards, well, draw until you have five cards, and then in the fifth turn, you just gotta discard your whole hand, that's the price you gotta pay. Anyways, we have Pot of Greed, uh, yeah, what, what does Pot of Greed do again? Oh, no, you draw two cards. Oh, alright, yeah, anyways, yeah, Pot of Greed draws cards. Um, Graceful Charity, pretty s similar to Yugi, just those draw cards, and then we have Moss Reborn, we have Silent Doom. Silent Doom, we use uh, usually activate the anime effect. I think it's the early anime effect, right? Yeah. Where you just special summon a monster. Just any monster in from the graveyard yeah. in defense. And I think it can't attack either. It still has that those restrictions. I think. Yeah. yeah. You know, either way, usually you want to bring out, like, that's usually for, for a stall. Or if you want to have a big beater like Blue Eyes or something. Or if you're trying to get out one of the, the, the Lord of Dragons or stuff. Or King of Dragons, like that's the pretty good card to use. Um, being that you're not really gonna be attacking with most of those lower attack monsters, but nonetheless, it's another uh, special summoning card. Then we have a wing beat of giant dragons, pretty much a heavy storm. You just gotta return a level five or higher dragon, pretty easy to do with this deck. And uh, we also have the flute of summoning dragons, um, again, really good card. Uh, you could use the anime effect if you want, but I wouldn't recommend it because then you're allowing your opponent to also summon dragons and you don't want to do that. So you're, you're Kaiba, you want to be greedy, so yeah, just stick to the TCG. Then last but not least for the two anim uh, spell cards is Card Guard and Command Silencer, two anime cards. Card Guard is really good. It protects all your monsters from being destroyed by battle or card effects that turn, but then you have to discard a card. And Command Silencer is literally just trying to negate your attack, and I draw a card, so it's really good. And none of these cards target, so it's a pretty good set to the a pretty good defensive card. Now we're going to the traps. We don't run a lot of trap cards in this deck, uh, but they're they're really good trap cards regardless. So we have one other card that came out in the Duelist pack: Rivals of the Pharaoh, Castle of Dragon Souls. You can literally just banish a dragon and target one monster you control and gain 700 attack. And you could do that every turn. That's once per turn. Even if this card leaves the field, that that gain attack, that that gaining attack still goes through. And then if this face up card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can literally target one of the banished mo dragon monsters you uh, you banished and then special summon it if it was banished by this effect. So that's really good. Uh, we have Tyrant Wing. Another really good trap card. Uh, you just make it so that one of your dragons gain 400 attack and defense, and they can make up to two attacks on monsters. Afterwards, though, dot this card dies, but it's a good way to either end the duel or get rid of like certain monsters that like you know kind of even the playing field with your opponent. So pretty good card. We have one of Kaiba's like you know amazing trap cards, attack guidance armor. You can literally make your opponent attack himself. So it's like yeah, that's amazing. Just target any other monster and then they have to attack that instead. We have Burst Breath, really good card. 
Uh, you just tribute a Dragon Ball, so then you can wipe out your opponent's field if their defense is equal or less than the tributed monster's attack. So I'm pretty sure no other monster has 3,000 or higher, well, has higher than 3,000 defense unless it does, but pretty good cards to wipe out your opponent's board. And last but not least for the trap cards, we have Negate Attack. Self-explanatory. This card actually targets now. It's Venerata, so... You know, when your opponent when your opponent declares an attack, you target that monster, negate the attack, and then end the battle phase. So yeah, just be mindful of that. Um, anime effect, you could just negate any attack and end the battle phase. So that's pretty good. And then for the extra deck, we literally just have one blue eyes ultimate dragon. So that's the deck. We're gonna move on to the side deck. For the side deck, it's just more dragons and more uh, like support cards that we can use for this deck. So we have rare metal dragon. Um, it, it can be normal summoner set, but it's a 24 beater level 4, pretty easy to summon it. Then we also have Cave Dragon, a 2000 beater dragon, yeah it looked kind of crappy. And then we have Luster Dragon 2, so it's just a regular normal monster, but you know, it's easy to summon all these dragons. We also have Manju of the 10,000 hands, so like you can add it into the deck if you want to get into that, um, if you want to get to that uh, ritual monster or ritual star a lot quicker. So, yeah, that's that. We have Desferro Imp to return any card back into the deck. Well, shuffle it back into the deck, so it's really good at flip effect. Um, we have more Tribute Fodder, Giant Germs. It inflicts 500 damage, and it brings out another one from the deck, so really good. So, for the spell cards, we have Dimension Fusion. It's literally you being able to, you and your opponent being able to special summon as many monsters that were banished at the cost of 2,000 life points. But knowing Kaiba, we know that he gains a lot of light points, which Soul Absorption comes into play. Every single time a card is removed from the game, the controller of this card gains 500 light points. Every time. So, yeah, this card is busted in the right circumstances. Then we also have Emergency Provisions, another way to gain life points. We have some more defensive cards, uh, Enemy Controller and Shrink, Self-Explanatory. Uh, we have Soul Exchange, easier ways to Tribute Summon. You could use the Anime Effect if you want, uh, which allows you to Tribute monsters your opponent controls, um, or you could just use the regular one. Either way, it doesn't matter. We have Fiend Sanctuary, a good Star card, or Tribute Fodder. And we have Cost Down, another good card to kind of help you bring out those blue eyes a lot faster. And last but not least, for the spells, we have Neutron Blast or Ultimate Bust. Really good card for Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Like, you can literally end games with this card if you have the right, you know, if you have this card and your monster doesn't have big beaters or anything like that, you can you can do some damage. Those are, That's it for the spells and the side deck. And now for the trap cards, again, very low count. We have Return from the Different Dimension. So if you don't feel like you want to use the Dimensional Fusion, you can use Return instead. And it's a pretty good combo with uh, um, Dragon's Mirror. If you want to like bring out your dragons again, your three blue eyes, and try to finish it off. If you somehow survives Blue Eyes Ultimate, or if you somehow manage to summon Blue Eyes Shining Dragon by tributing Blue Eyes Ultimate, then that's a really good card. We have another good defensive card, Shadow Spell. We have a Wish of Final Effort, this is an anime card, so you can gain life points if they kill one of the monsters you control and send it to Graveyard. And last but not least, we have a Continuous Trap card, Dragon's Rage, which makes all of your dragons piercers. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the deck. There's some good combos in the deck, like again, in the main deck there's pretty good combos. Very Again, this is kind of like the Yugi deck, very generic. Just straight up dragons, just literally bring out your blue eyes as fast as possible and overpower your opponent. It's very like for character duels, I guess. It's it's not as easy as you think to deal with big beaters early on, especially. So this deck is pretty easy to bring out those big beaters. And it has a lot of enough defense cards to kind of like stall out a bit. Um so the goal really is to just summon blue eyes and win. That's really what you're trying to go for with this deck. The strengths of this deck, again, it has very powerful monsters. Blue eyes itself is a very big beater, and with all the support, 
that we added into it for this Blue Eyes Dragon style build, it's easy to bring them out. So that's that. And then uh, on top of that, it's, it's very difficult to deal with those big beaters. Especially when you can continue to bring them out and keep bringing them out. And the side deck itself kind of supplements the main deck. So if you want to make the deck even more blue eyes or dragon oriented or support, um, you know, you could do that. And it's really strong. Weaknesses to this deck, it's it's really just uh, kind of similar to like, you know, it doesn't have a lot, any burn defense. It doesn't have any deck out. Um, and if you can get over the big beaters, then it's pretty easy to get over this deck. But again, the side deck kind of supplements for a few of those things, but not for burn. So like, if you can burn him out before he can overpower you, then that's really much what you can do with him against this deck. And what I like about this deck, man, I love Kaiba. That's my favorite character. So my favorite rival, actually. Second to, well, oh, first to, yeah, I like him more than Jack. I'm sorry. Anyways, yeah. Kaiba is one of my favorite rivals, and I love his deck. I love uh, his, you know, his character. Like, I just love how prideful and, and, and egotistical he is, and just arrogant. That I like about him. But deck itself, I love the deck. I love dragons. It was one of the things I fell in love with when I first started playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's the blue eyes or dragon, however you want to call it. But this is the blue eyes turbo deck. Um, hopefully, when more support comes out for Blue Eyes, we can make a, a version two of this. But that's to be that's to be determined. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. You know, like, subscribe, and riding dual acceleration. Gotcha.